so hot. <laughs> I need to be in Alaska right now. Alaska would be so nice. <sighs> would be really nice. Anyway, I'm here. I survived Universal. It was so much fun. I want to go again. We went to Universal Studios. See, there's four parts to Universal right now. Five in the works. Or five in the works. So we've got Universal Studios. You've got Adventure Island or Islands of Adventure. And then you've got Volcano Bay. And then you've got... Oh, shoot. What's the other one? There's two water parks to theme parks. So anyway, we went to Universal. Universal is the original park and most of the rides are inside and they're like simulators. Um, so you're, some of them have like tracks where you're like literally going through the building, but some of them are simulators where you're just in like a little car and you're just moving around and there's like a screen in front of you and stuff. They are so much fun. Oh my gosh. But they built a new like real roller coaster at Universal finally because Islands of Adventure has all of the awesome roller coasters. So they built this new one at Universal and it's like, I don't think it's Rock and Roller Coaster. I think that's Disney. It might be Rock It Roller Coaster. I don't know. Anyway, it's something with music and roller coaster. And let me tell you, it is I almost didn't get on it because the incline when you first leave the station is literally vertical. I'm not joking. I'm not exaggerating. You are literally on your back. Feel like you're going to fall out of this car and go crashing on your head. And it's up so high and you're doing corkscrews and you're turning this way and you're turning that way and you're going upside down and you're corkscrewing and... It was so much fun. We actually rode it twice, but the second time I was fine and the it outdid the girls. This old lady outdid the 14 year olds, right? Anyway, it was fun. We had a blast. Emily ended up throwing up after she got home. <laughs> Couldn't eat dinner. <laughs> she went right to bed, but she was fine in the morning. So, but yeah. It was her, it's, now she's a lightweight. Now, remember, I grew up going to Disney and Universal almost every weekend. So, well, not grew up. In high school, we went a lot with my friends. So I love roller coasters. But that happened to me um, the last time we were in Kentucky. Not the last time. One of the last times we were in Kentucky. I keep shaking the computer. I see it, like, vibrating. I'm so sorry. Um, there's a, a theme park in Ohio right on the Kentucky line that is called Kings Island. And they have tons of awesome roller coasters also. And I did that to myself like Emily did where I rode one one too many times and then I was sick the whole rest of the day. So it happens to the best of us. Anyway, I had a ball. They had a ball. It was a great time. We, we survived the heat because when you're standing in queue for the rides, they have lots of fans going and you get to go into air conditioning and that kind of stuff. So you're not dying while you're standing in line because they make you put everything in lockers now before you get on the ride. So you can't have your drink. You can't have anything with you. So they definitely make sure to keep you, um, try to keep you as cool as possible. So we had a good time. It wasn't too unbearable, but I, it takes me a couple days to recover after stuff like that. So, um, yeah, anyway, I am done rambling. I had, I really did have a good time. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I'm so glad that I was able to go with Emily. So anyway, all right. So getting into why you are here, not just to hear me ramble on, excuse me, I don't know where that came from. We are here. Let me make sure. Yeah. Fan cells sent me this awesome, awesome package. <clears throat> Um, so I am going to show you what I got. My universal receipts. It wasn't too pricey. We didn't spend a whole lot of money. We didn't buy any. Emily bought a pair of pants, but we didn't buy any like major souvenirs. So we didn't spend a whole lot. All right. Fix my little thingabob Bobby here. 
So I've got another one of these. If you are new here, you may not know what this is, but it is the most awesome tool that they ever invented, the most awesome holder that they ever invented. And I think you must have one if you don't already. So you can see the design of it. It is silicone. So it is squishy and pliable and beautiful mint green. It is to hold pens, pencils, markers, drill pins. And if you noticed, I was putting in, whoops, not that one, this one. I put in the wide end. So it holds them, it holds Sharpies, it holds ink pens. And if you really want it to, it can hold your tray. Look at that. Everything in one little spot. I'm gonna turn this over. There we go. Isn't it awesome? It's fabulous. And there's still plenty of room if you wanna jam pack other stuff in there. But I've been keeping these, um, <clears throat> these tools that I just put in here. I've been keeping them on the table because I've been wanting to get my, why is this not closing all of a sudden? It's weird. Um, I've been wanting to get my other patriotic. It matches my macaron. Look at that. It's so cute. Uh, my other patriotic things for my tree done. So I've been keeping tools on the table, hoping to entice myself to work on them. But I keep getting too many projects going. I've been choosing, choosing. I've been choosing a lot. I've been chosen a lot for tester calls lately. So I've been doing, still doing a ton of crochet, which is so exciting. That is just, we won't talk about it again. But anyway, so Elsa likes to mess with my pins and she likes to knock them off. So I have, I keep them like piled up in my tray, but she'll still like roll around with them and, and wakes me up during the night. So that was the main reason I wanted another one of these. So now I can keep it on the table. She can't mess with it. la di la di la Everyone's happy. Well, I'm happy. I don't get woken up at three o'clock in the morning by clicking sounds and things rolling on the floor. Right? Right. If you have pets, you know. Okay, so getting into our projects, we have two canvases and we got our standard toolkit for both of the canvases. The first canvas is a 30 by 30 partial. Isn't she majestic? Oh, she's so pretty. I want to crochet one in these colors. Wouldn't she be gorgeous? I definitely have to do that. I have to find the right. A lot of, there aren't a whole lot of crochet patterns that have four on the floor. Usually they're sitting on their butt and they've got their, you know, their back legs out and their front legs down. So I had to find a good unicorn with four on the floor and make a mint green, purple, and black unicorn. It's so I love it. Love it a lot. It's so cool. Anyway, so she has uh, 10, 11. <laughs> 11 different stones on her. And let's take a look and see what, ooh, she's got. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. Why are there red? There's red on her. If I can find the opening. <clears throat> Sorry. <coughs> When I woke up Tuesday morning, I had so much nasty junk in my eyes from being outside all day yesterday and the allergies and, and my throat is still, I took allergy medicine before I went, but you know, still. you're outside all day long, breathing all that stuff in. Ugh, I'm still recovering, but it's not bad. I could have no voice, so things definitely could be worse. So we have green teardrops. We have some red and some blue Pearls. The red are AB. You can see the iridescent, the shimmer there. The blue, yeah, they're iridescent also. Then we have some pink teardrops. We have some tiny pink marquee, crystal AB. And then for the regular rhinestones, we have purple, kind of a pinkish lavender color. Bright green, 
lime green, I should say, teal, and then a darker purple. So the red is weird. I wish that wasn't red. <clears throat> Where did those go? Let's see. This is letter V, and letter V is actually zero. Where do you go? I don't see you anywhere. I see zero. Oh no, V. Okay, never mind. Okay, so there's one on her head in the, the center fla flower center. I cannot speak. And then they're scattered along the bottom. So that's where the red goes. So it won't take too much away from her, per se. It just kind of threw me off a little bit. But they do that a lot. They throw that one little wrench in there that makes you think. Them. But they always turn out good, so I'm not worried. But I definitely want to crochet a unicorn like that. That would be really, really cool. All right, so our next canvas is another 30 by 30, but this is a full drill round. It's me! <laughs> like for real, that looks like me, does it not? If I had my hair down, I almost left my hair down, but I am so hot. I couldn't stand having it down, but I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is totally for me. I must have it because she is like crafting stuff everywhere. She's got all kinds. She's got paint. She's got ribbon. She's got fabric. She's got everything. I don't see any yarn in there, but she does have some thread. So we'll count that. But is that the cutest or what? She's so cute. And she's so excited. It cracks me up. So the drills came packaged in my favorite way even. So you can see the colors there. And I just know y'all love my crazy faces I make. So I just could not resist. There are a lot of floating around drills in there. It's a concerning <clears throat> mustard. The mustard drills escaped. She's so cute. So much fun. All right, so our next two projects are stand-up ones. I think they're both stand-up ones, if I remember correctly. All right, so let's see what we've got. Because I remember, but I don't remember. Oh, yeah, this one is more along the serious lines, but that's okay, because we can, we can be serious for a minute. Oh, I thought it was backwards. Nope, don't go on the floor. Cats will eat you. Okay, so we have, this is acrylic. We have our acrylic base. Peeling this, the protective plastic off of these is not easy. We have our standard toolkit. We have our bag of rhinestones. And we have our piece. So this is the Twin Towers. This is another 9-11 tribute piece that I had to have. I really like it. I like how the flag is hugging the buildings. It says we will never forget. Okay, let's check out. I think we just have marquees and stars from the looks of the piece. Some bigger rounds. So let's take a peek. Ooh! Oh no, those are actually drills. I thought they were per baby pearls, but those are white AB drills. We have some dark rhinestones. I don't want to say black because they're they're kind of a grayish, smoky color. We have crystal AB rhinestones. There are the black rhinestones. We have red, blue. There are the crystal AB marquee. We have some pearls and we have our stars. So this will definitely be sitting on the tree. Um, if the tree is still up by the time I get it finished, 
Um, yeah. After that, it will go up on the entertainment center. Oh, there's a mustard drill. It escaped. <coughs> so let me pop this back in the box. Although it's kind of, this box is huge for this piece, but that's okay. It protected it. So that's, that's what matters. It looks protected. I can't leave those sitting on the table either because Elsa likes to lay on them. I swear to cat. She lays on my computer, which I understand because of the heat from the computer she loves. She started scratching on the top of it too, which... Mm, she's so weird. I don't get her at all. <laughs> all right. Last but... Oh, man, this is huge. Last but not least... We have our uh, last project standard toolkit. My little bag down there, keeping my stuff off the table. We have our stand for this. I have no idea where she's gonna go, because she's huge. She might have to get hung on the wall when I finish her, but this is precious. So we have a little girl I think she's supposed to be a gnome, but she's very human-like. But I had to have her because she's green and red and she has a ladybug. So I had to have her and she's got brown hair. And I, this almost looks like a blindfold, so it kind of bugs me. But at the same time, I'm like, well, hopefully it'll be the same as her hair, which yes, it will be. So it looks like she's got bangs over her eyes instead of a blindfold. We don't want to blindfold a child. That would not be good. But isn't it pretty? I love the lace on her hat and the crystals hanging. So, so pretty. I was just looking at her. I don't know. I think that's a belt buckle or a necklace. I'm not sure, but I wanted to make sure it didn't have a, it looked like it had a pentagram in it when I first glanced at it. But isn't she cute? Look at the ladybug. She's so cute. She's got her wings out. She's all happy. I'm not sure where those feelers are coming from out of her butt, but we'll just go with it. Super cute. Super, super cute. So let's see what kind of stones she has. Ooh, I see gold. Where did the gold go? I don't know where the gold would go. Oh, the flower centers. Okay. <laughs> We have a beautiful chartreuse. I need some chopstick. We have a very, very pale peach. Can't get the color to show. Come on. I promise it's peach. We have a beautiful coral. Some white drills, pink rhinestones, black rhinestones. We have some crystal A, B teardrops. There's our gold balls. There's quite a few of them. We have some green marquee and pink marquee. So the gold balls go in the center of all the flowers. All six of them, it looks like. I don't see anywhere else where the gold goes. So there, I'm gonna have a lot of extras. So letter B is the gold. So you can see that's, that's it. So I'll have a bunch of extra ones, which is cool. So there you have it. That's what I have for you for today. So excited you are here with me. And we only have, after today, we only have two days of school left and then we are off until August. I think it's August 12th. And then we get to start getting to school at 7. Mm-hmm. So fun. School starts at 9.20 right now. School starts at 7.20 for the high schoolers. Which I don't know why they do that. Insane. Insane, I tell ya. But they get out at 2.30, I think it is. 2 or 2.30 they get out. But just getting up at 5 in the morning is not going to be fun at all. 
because <sighs> it takes me time to wake up. I have to get up at five because it takes me time to wake up. And we are, I'm going to give us 30 minutes to get to school because leaving at that time, everyone else, everyone is going to work at that time. So it's going to take us longer to get there. School's a little bit further away. So it's going to be fun. But yeah, I'm happy that we are almost done. We get a couple of months to sleep until we want and do what we want and not have to run every single day. That's what I love. I love not having to drive every day. <laughs> so anyway, I will see you again. Oh, there's a dead mosquito on my... Oh. Anyway, I will see you again very, very soon. Thank you so much for being here. I love your comments. Keep them coming. And I will see you later.